I think the first way to know is to ask that question a lot, you know, early and often in everything that we're doing. Um, you know, we try to ask that question a lot when we were considering new projects or new services and so on to say, what is this, how does this contribute to our mission? If you were a, a for-profit company, you'd ask, how does this hit the bottom line? Um, and that becomes sort of second nature. But I think the version of that for a special district is to ask that question all the time. How does this contribute to our mission? Is it part of it? Does it advance it? If it, if it doesn't, or if it distracts from that mission, it might be a good thing. It just may not be a thing for us to do. The political risks of innovation are, um, are more favorable in special districts. And the reason I would say that is that um, and this is probably kind of counterintuitive, but I think in some ways what we do can be a little bit boring. And if you're talking about delivering the trash or making sure the electricity gets to people's houses, um, you know, most folks are, are kind of happy with that um, as long as it works well. And they don't really worry too much about how it works. There's not any kind of global, you know, political calculus that goes into what this new shift uh, means. And so, um, in some ways, I think special districts are, are better places for innovation that way because, um, because less people have their fingers in the pie of what the, the philosophical implications of our adoptions of technology is. When you're, when you're straight up in a, in a city or a county or a, or a state government, um, there's so much more of that, that that can tend to slow you down. So many more diverse stakeholders and so on where um, you know, I think that, that mandate of saying, as long as you do this service the way we want it to, we don't really care too much of how you do it, um, really opens up the possibility of being much more innovative. Mm -hmm.